Hello everyone, welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it is snacks around the world for this Tuesday. This of course is Oscar, he is not the snack, he is not, but he is adorable and he was meowing so I had to give him some attention. I figured why not give him some chin scratchings while I'm recording a video. He seems to like it. Oh, oh, getting ear rubbings from the thumb, from the hand. He looks pleased with himself, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a brat. He's getting down now. Go on. Okay, today's snacks around the world. Uh, we have two things. Actually, there are three things. I forgot about that third thing. If it's there, it is. It's hiding. Two of the things are from England. One of the things is from Korea. And I'm going to start with the things from England. First, I'm going to start with this. Gi yeah, you don't get any. Giant Parma Violets. Some kind of violet candy. Delicately perfumed violet sweets, it says. Yeah, I like violet colored things. I don't actually care for the violet scent. But no, I'm thinking of lavender. I'm thinking of lavender. I don't know how violet smells. My grandmother used to grow African violets and I have no idea how they smell. That's weird. Here, get one. Because we're, we're all going to try it. You get one. It has a scent, doesn't it? All three of us made this face. Because it's like, why does it smell like this? Why does a candy smell like this? They're a pretty color though. Almost the color of my bathroom. The light blows it out. Free from artificial colors, it says. Not you. You really don't get any. Hmm. If you're interested in the packet, you get it from swizzles.com apparently. That's what it says on the packet. Yeah, it's just, you want more? Okay, have some more. I'll try another one. Yeah. See if it makes any sense. It is, it's confusing. It's a confusing flavor. It's not very sweet, or it doesn't taste very sweet. I mean, I know it's mostly sugar. It's a candy, hello. I but, think I like it, but I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. Kind of fat chick approved. It's not fat chick disapproved, but my mouth is confused. It's subtle. Yeah. Not much to it. All right. This next item, I was told that the two hands and I have to try this at the same time. It says right on there, strawberry, one each, don't eat separately. And I had to ask what that meant. By the way, this came from Lisa Ladybird Loves. She will be linked above, linked below, all that good stuff. Also, she is the one who made these earrings, although technically they're stitch markers. Whatever. Check with her and um, get some because they're lovely. All right, here's what they look like. All right, one to this one. Wait, you have to wait. One to that one. <laughs> and one to me. Oh, mine is a little bit busted, but that's okay. It's been a long journey. I'll squish it back. Shall we? That's a big piece of candy. Bloody hell. What the hell is that? <laughs> his came out of his mouth and got set down on the table. What about you? Unexpected. <laughs> Unexpected. Yes, that is a good description for it. Lisa? Thank you. Better be glad I can't swim. <laughs> He's leaving the table now. Even though the next snack I know he likes, he's walking away. <laughs> this is where my Dr. Pepper is. Oh, that's where his Dr. Pepper is. Okay. Okay, I'm getting into the middle now. Yeah, that was a surprise. It got really spicy. 
But I'm, I'm still confused by it. I'm ruined for the day. Hmm? I'm ruined for the day. Oh. The next, the next thing. You'll be all right when we eat some of these. I won't be able to taste it. Drink your Dr. Pepper. <laughs> what was that? What are they actually called? I know they came from an actual sweet shop in one of these, but... Rude, that's what that was. <laughs> yeah. Did it wake you up? Oh, yeah. Rude. Got my attention. They have some more violet candy. You'll be all right. All right. Where's my... Where's my Deborah Kent? Everything is Deborah Proof Packaging solution here. Okay. This thing here... Extra crispy seasoned seaweed. This is Korean. It is wonderful. You're thinking seaweed and going, ew. Don't turn your nose up at it, okay? These are little, very crispy, very thin and light sheets. I mean, super light, as in you can almost see through them. Here you go. Here you go. And oh, Oscar is very interested. He loves these. They're salty. A little bit briny. A little bit oily. He likes it. A little oily, uh, yeah. Kind of like a seaweed potato chip or a seaweed crisp. Um, they're really yummy. I actually buy these in the, the multi-pack. It's not just one that we got, it was 12 at a time. So, yeah. <laughs> you keep dropping in. Well, show them your thumb. Yes, there's a thumb over here. Do we have a thumb over here, too? Feed the cat. Thumb. Thumb. Fat chick approved. That previous candy? I don't know about that. But this? Might have to smack a shot. I can't wait for her to see this video. Now I know why she wanted to wait for all of us to try it at once. Yeah, sneaky. Cheeky lass. Uh-huh. I see you. All right. Don't ever be afraid to try something from around the world. Unless it's a friend trying to prank you into trying something. Because then you should be wary. I'm talking to you. But, uh... Otherwise, most of the time you're gonna find something pretty yummy like these. You can actually get uh, one brand of these at least at Walmart. In their little international section where they have some Asian type foods and stuff, they usually have these in the individual contain individual packages like this. Pick them up, give them a try. Don't put your nose up to it until you've at least tried a bite or two. Very thin, and you can also crumble these up and put them in your salads and stuff too, or on a sandwich. Yum. Or soup. Mm -hmm. They're really good in ramen, too. Just saying. Anyway, that is Snacks Around the World. I have a phone call to make. And uh, <laughs> I hope to see all of y'all very, very soon. Bye, y'all.